now with a winter weather alert from 7 First Alert Weather. The winter storm has arrived with wind, snow and ice. It's making a mess out there on the roads and quickly picking up steam. Plus, travel headaches. Thousands of flights now grounded. The impact the storm is having around the nation and right here at Metro Detroit. And with all of those stranded travelers, arrangements must be made, how local hotels are stepping up, and what you should be considering. Well, good morning and thank you so much for waking up with us on this busy Friday morning. The storm is here. The wind, the snow, and the roads out there really feel like an ice rink as you step outside. Let's get you ready for all of it. It's going to be a busy day in the weather department. We're going to send things over to 7 First Alert meteorologist Hallie Vogel. And we will be with you all day, even... All right, Hallie, thank you for the heads up. Taking a live look now out at our roads. This is Schaefer just along the lodge from our live drive camera. You can see a little bit of falling snow. It's pretty light there, but that snow picking up on the roadways there certainly slick out there. If you can avoid driving, be sure to do so. Now the combination of cold wind and snow is hitting at the worst possible time for travelers, of course, who would normally be flocking to the airports to kick off the holiday season. But instead, many are being hit with a wave of flight cancellations due to this severe weather. Well, let's take a look at the misery map from flightaware.com, and you can see areas like Denver with nearly 100 cancellations or delays. But Metro Detroit, yeah, we're feeling that pain too. According to FlightAware, uh, Detroit Metro is already seeing more than 300 cancellations. More than 2,900 flights have been canceled nationwide. 7 Action News reporter Peter Maxwell joins us live now from Detroit Metro Airport. He's speaking with travelers. So, Peter, are people still holding on to hope that they might be able to get out of here today? Well, this winter storm could not have come at a worse time for holiday travelers this weekend. And now they are scrambling for a place to stay as flight gets delayed and hotel rooms start selling out, which has already happened. Right now, Detroit Metro Airport's Westin is all booked up. They don't have any rooms available. That left many with canceled flights forced to find other accommodations or even sleep on a bench. To avoid this, travel agents suggest having a backup plan in case you do get stranded at the airport. The big problem becomes when somebody is you really feel for those families. If you're heading to the airport today, be sure to get there, of course, with plenty of time. Be early and be proactive if you are worried about cancellations because we keep seeing them roll in. Now, if you do need to. Well, this storm is also forcing the cancellation of smart bus routes around the city of Detroit. Smart says the following routes have been canceled. They're listed on your screen. It's 805 Grand River Park and Ride, 830 Down River Park and Ride, and 851 West Bloomfield Park and Ride. The ride service says more cuts are expected and significant delays are anticipated too. Transit centers in downtown Detroit and Royal Oak will also be closed today through Monday for the holiday. And for the very latest on this storm, you can watch here on 7 Action News or, of course, on our website, WXYZ.com. Just scan this QR code right there on your screen using your phone's camera. That will take you right to our Winter Storm Live blog. There you will see live interactive radar and up-to-the-minute updates throughout this powerful storm. Another story we're following this morning. And over in Westland, a nine-year-old boy is accused of cutting a classmate during an altercation at a school bus stop. Investigators say he pulled out a small pocket knife and hurt another student yesterday morning. The victim was then taken to the hospital with injuries to the hand and the knee. Both students attend Schweitzer Elementary School. The student, the nine-year-old suspect, was taken into police custody to the police department. The case is now being referred to the Wayne County Juvenile Division. Hallie? The winter storm warning, of course, in effect until tomorrow morning. It's all about the high winds and the Arctic chill. So we'll be breaking that down. And of course, we'll have some snow totals as well in your full forecast ahead. Hallie, thank you. Time now is 540. An important recall. A popular weighted blanket is no longer being sold at Target. What parents who have this blanket should be on the lookout for. Taking extra safety measures, the plan Apple plans to roll out to prevent stalking with its AirTag technology. We'll have the details next. You're watching 7 Action News this morning.